What's up, peeps, and welcome back to Seth's World. We are continuing to play. We are continuing to play Undertale. I keep forgetting what this uh, what this is called, and I don't I don't know why I keep forgetting. Why would I forget that? Anyways, uh, we just saw some very creepy and suspicious stuff with Papyrus, and he was strangely asking me what I was wearing, which two guy friends asking another guy friend. What he's wearing over the phone is a very uncomfortable f situation. And uh, I think Saxtia should run as fast and far as possible. And also, he is plotting with his little big... I say little, a little big... <laughs> little big uh, knight friend that was on top of that mountain. And, I don't know, this doesn't seem like a very good thing's going on right now here for Saxtia. And so I think he should just hold on a little bit longer and just press on to un open that gate and get through to the underground but at the same time he shouldn't open it because then all the monsters are gonna come so that's not good either anyways let's see what happens thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong the king will prove that all right little flower oh shoot i don't want to fight but i'm going to i'm going to see you know what sometimes in this world you gotta fight your soul is unclean tweet oh tweet he has a twitter <laughs> he has a <laughs> he's tweeting <laughs> that was a terrible joke, I'm so sorry. Alright, let's... Oh, I didn't get to read what the flower said. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, I didn't realize that was supposed to be a ceiling. Come on, sis, make a wish. Hmm... Telescope. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Okay. Look through the telescope? Yes. Hello. This looks so magical. What the... <gasps> I can look... Check... Wall. Uh... Check wall. Okay. Check... Wall? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Hmm. Check. Oh, check this wall. <gasps> Enter! What? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words The War of Humans and Monsters. Hmm. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. That's kind of beautiful. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power al allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. Hmm. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. Okay. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Hmm. Uh. Oh, okay. It was a boat. I didn't. <gasps> no. <gasps> no. <gasps> no. 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 Uh, I don't want to. I don't. Run, Zaxia, run! Run! Ow! Oh, I'm so dead. Uh, run. Run, 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 run. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa. Ah. Darn. Darn it. Dang it, Padres. Ah! We are supposed to be friends. Ah. Ooh! Whoa, did those... Ah! It looked a little bit like the, that spear there was homing into me. Ah. Man, this is hard. This is really hard. I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! I made it? Did I make it? Oh. Into the... I'm in it. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> the 
that's not where I am. That's not where I am. No, no. turn around. Oh. Well, that's kind of sad. You're not gonna hurt him. Don't hurt him. He's a sweet little kid. I think he's a kid. I don't know what he is. So remember what I was saying in the other episode where I'm like, this game needs to pick up. Well, it definitely has. Congratulations, Undertale. Thank you for picking up. Hello, little dinosaur thing. Yo, 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 did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Yeah, I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. <coughs> Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. That was a her? Oh, wow. She's terrifying. Terrifying. Is that a diamond? Excuse me. This cheese has been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. That's disgusting. It's stuck to the table. This looks just like that one part. With the other cheese. Only a little different. But. Squeak. Hmm. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. Remember? It was just like that one part. That part where I actually stood next to the table trying to get the cheese off of it forever and ever and ever and ever. Surely, surely, y'all remember that. Surely, surely, surely somebody, surely somebody remembers that. If you remember that, comment below and let me know. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yes. What kind of secret messages are in this one? Surely there are. Zans, I think, I think you've got a problem with your telescope. I think it's, uh, I think it's broken, Zans. You sh I should tell him. I should tell him it's broken. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. I didn't... I didn't pay. You just say the same thing, huh? You should know... It's broken. Or something, Sans. Use the box, yes. Man, I don't have very many, uh, items. In fact, I don't really have any at all. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Whoa. What happened to my eye? Do I have a black eye? It, it looks a little bit sick, if it is. It looks like I have a purple eye. It doesn't really look like I'm hurt as much as it is that I have just a crazy tattoo over my eye in my forehead, which looks awesome. Hello, little duckling, hello. Hello, I come get you. I come get you, little duckling. I go down, I go down here. I go down here into the... The music has changed, which means something of interest is probably about to happen. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? No. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. All right, I'm gonna come get you, little duckling. I'm coming for you. <gasps> oh my gosh. I have no idea why that just scared me. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about the clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. So it's a her, huh? Does this herd or happen to be called Undyne? And does she have crazy scary armor and tons and tons and tons and tons of endless spears? Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. Bull crap, bull crap, bull crap, Papyrus. Give me something truthful for once. 
You said you were not wearing a bandana. So of course I actually told her. You were indeed wearing a bandana. Dang it, Papyrus. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Am I wearing a bandana? Because I can't remember. And it doesn't look like one. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Was Papyrus actually trying to keep me safe? And I lied? <laughs> to keep myself safe? Because if that's the case, then I feel really bad. I feel really bad. Papyrus, allow me to apologize. I am so sorry. I should have trusted you. You're the only friend I've ever had. Wowee, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Click. Okay. Alright, Papyrus, just hang in there, alright? We're gonna get out of here together. You know what? We're gonna... <laughs> Ooh, good hit. Six XP, six gold, that's it. All right, so Papyrus, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get out of this uh, underground together. We're gonna do it. You're gonna bring your buddy Zans, or your brother Zans, and you know what? We're gonna get a house together, we're gonna live happily ever after, and we're gonna make snow cones and spaghetti. Spaghetti and the pie that I made with Toriel. Uh, in honor of her, oh, whatever. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Alrighty, flowers. Y'all are being weird. I'm just here to save the little duckling. I want to save the little duck. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh boy. The duck? <gasps> Why did nothing? Why is it? <gasps> I'm scared. Please don't bother me. Please stop. Please leave me alone. <gasps> hey. I noticed you were here. I am an onion sand. Onion sand, you hear? That was the face he was, she, she was making. Stop. You're visiting waterfall. You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's great you're here. Huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Uh-huh. All right, you're creeping me out. Please stop. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey that's okay. It beats moving to the city. <laughs> and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Hmm. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's... Hmm, that's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Alrighty. Uh... Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Uh, in the water <laughs> Thanks, Onion Sand. You are so nice. Well, I, I just have a knack for attracting people who want to fight. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they but see, then they attack me. 
So like, I try not to fight them, but then they attack. So, I don't understand. Let's see what this sign says. The Northern Room hides a great treasure. All right, North, here we go. A piano? What? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Uh-huh. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Uh, huh. Wait, does this do anything? Am I supposed to be hearing something? Alright, that doesn't seem to do anything, which is... What's the great treasure? I heard there was a treasure up here. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Oh, darn you riddles! Darn the riddles! I want to figure it out! But see, what it, uh, I want to figure it out, but what if this is just like the sign where it says, ha, you went the wrong way. I couldn't handle another one. Da, 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 da. Right, I don't even, I don't care. I will not, I don't care. I just can't. I can't care about it. This power has no counter indeed. A human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Oh. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Oh boy, here it comes. A boss monster, a... S a boss, a boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now, it never will. What is that? What is that? It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. No, it looks like a monster. All right, let's go. That looks way more intense than it was. That was disappointing. Please take one. All right. Take an umbrella. Take one. Yes, you took an umbrella. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. That was a good call. All right, and with this rainy cave, I will end this episode. So if you like, like. And if you want to see more, then watch my other videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Um, okay, bye. I think that was all I needed to say. Oh, and tune in next time to see more adventures with Saxtia! Okay, bye.